extra, extra. Let's see what my numbers are like now. I have 200 out of 1,000, so I am 20% of the way there. It's Claire from Clarified Creations. Today we're going to be doing another iPhone video and I'm going to be showing you guys everything that is on my brand new iPhone 11. I got the iPhone 11 in a lavender purple color about a week ago and I love it. So I figured I'd show you guys what all I keep on this beautiful phone. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Become part of the Clarified Creations family. We're at 200 subscribers. I am so thankful for each and every one of you. I want to continue to grow my channel so it can reach as many people as possible, so I need your help. Smash that subscribe button and let's get on to the video. The first thing we see on my phone is my lock screen. It is by Love All Design Co. So if you guys would like 10% off your next purchase, make sure to check out the description box below and that'll get you 10% off. Anyways, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. And that's by Proverbs 3, 5. It's always really great to have an encouraging Bible verse on my phone so I can look at it first thing in the morning and just see that everything will work out and the color just goes very nicely with my all purple phone. If you didn't notice, there's a purple background, a purple phone, and a purple lock screen. So we've got everything purple today. So once you open up the phone, you'll notice that my phone looks like basically any other Apple phone that you get when you first get it. It has all the presets. The only thing that I really changed about it was the Google Photos. I need Google Photos to store all of my precious moments in life because I have over 2,000 pictures, you guys. It's crazy, and about 400 videos. Videos. Let's see what pictures we have on here. This is my grandparents dog. His name is Hobo and the portrait mode on him just looks so good. Compliments all the right features. Aww. Everything else came with the phone so I'm sure you guys don't want to see that but let's open my clock and see all the different alarms I have set. I'm sure there's a lot. Okay yeah so I have probably 20 alarms on here. I'm not sure why I have one for 4.35 a.m., but you never know. I might find the sudden need to wake up at 4.35 a.m. in the near future, so I'm going to keep that on hand. I think I've just made so many duplicate alarms that every time I set an alarm, I just make a new one. Okay, let's close out of that. Then we have our weather, our notes, reminders. I'm sure everybody has that, so we'll just move it on over here to all the exciting parts of the phone. Hi, Sarah. That is my best friend, Sarah. She texted, who won the swag bag? She entered a contest on Instagram and she really wants to know who won the swag bag. If any of you guys know, comment down below. Huge shout out to Sarah. Who won the swag bag? Okay, so we have our traditional FaceTime shortcuts podcast calculator. Calculator you always need. It just comes in handy. Moving on to the folders, I have three folders on my phone, and one of them is called Extra Extra. Yes, I did make it like that on purpose. I made this folder maybe four years ago, and I thought it was such a clever name back then, so I haven't changed it. I think it's still pretty clever because it's all the extra, extra apps. We have voice memos, iTunes, pages. Most likely, I would like to get rid of these apps, but I just can't find it in myself to get rid of them. I just don't have the heart. They've been with me for so long through thick and thin. Every time I've needed them, they have been there to support me. And they will stay in the extra, extra folder forever. Extra, extra. Next, we have the social folder where it has all of my social aspects. I don't have a Snapchat, Facebook, or TikTok because I don't think I need it. And to be honest, it's kind of a lot of work to maintain social medias. I'm really not so great at it, but I have been really putting a lot of effort towards my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Instagram, I am at clarified underscore creations. Get the inside scoop beyond the film. Here's my account. So you can see I've been trying to make it look aesthetically pleasing. This is probably one of my favorite pictures I've taken because the quality on this phone, wow. Look at that camera system going on there. 
Then we have email, and then I also have two other selling apps, Poshmark and Mercari. Now, I don't really sell on these too much anymore because after I went to college, I kind of stopped because, you know, you got to focus on your schoolwork. That is the most important thing. Yeah, I don't really sell on there, but my mom has an eBay account that I'll link down below if you guys want to check it out. So make sure you're always looking at the description box because I have so many different things that I write down there, and it's always really fun to interact with you guys. There's the social folder. And and last but not least, we all have to have our YouTube folder. This is where I have my YouTube related things. I have 200 subscribers. It's just mind boggling. A year ago, I had 15. Let's kick it up a notch though. I know we can do it. By June 31st, my goal is to have a thousand subscribers so I can monetize my channel so I can produce even better content for you guys. This is probably what you're watching on now, Clarified Creations. That is the channel you did click on. Next, we've got my YouTube tracker, which is really great for seeing when I'll get monetized. It also helps me keep track and just kind of see in a bar graph format how close I am. I have 200 out of 1,000, so I am 20% of the way there and 16% watch time. So feel free to binge watch my videos. I would love for you to watch all my newest videos. And if you want to see some cringe-worthy moments, also look back on my old ones. I was not as sociable as I am now. A lot of you are probably wondering how I edit my thumbnails. I use two apps and a two app system, Lightroom and Facetune 2. Now I don't normally edit pictures on my phone, but occasionally I will, so I thought I'd show you guys anyways. We have Facetune. There's me wearing a mask. I went to work today and this is one of the pictures I took. I work as a lab assistant, so look out for some videos on that. That'll probably be coming within the next few weeks. Katherine Manning gave a really good tip, which is to defocus your background and make yourself pop out more, which I have found to be so helpful. Now that is everything for the folders. We're going to move on to Fitbit because that's just kind of depressing. Okay, well, we're gonna scroll a lot. In February, I was doing 82,000 steps a week. That amounted to about 12,000 steps a day, which was very good for my health. I was working out, keeping my heart strong, and now that we're in quarantine, those numbers have flattened dramatically. Let's see what my numbers are like now. It's gonna be kind of embarrassing, but I'm gonna be real with you guys. I am not the most athletic, and yes, we see that. 23,000 was my last week, and this week I have 10,000 so far and some of that is because I don't always wear my Fitbit at home because you know I'm not really doing that much and I've also found it to kind of irritate my wrist as well I'm just gonna say that so I can justify my low step count now our last few apps include Y12 Federal Credit Union I am NOT gonna open this app because it contains highly confidential personal financial information that only clarified creation should know I am NOT rich by the way then we've got Pinterest which should actually be in the social file we're gonna switch that in there. I don't really use Pinterest that much, but when I do, you can almost guarantee that I am looking for desserts or cooking ideas on there. Duo Mobile is a two-factor authentication system used for our passwords at my university. It's pretty annoying sometimes. Every week you have to go through it and push OK, I accept. Other than that, it's handy, I guess. They require you to use it, so I don't really have a choice but to keep it on here. We've got GroupMe. I have so many GroupMe's because it's really helpful to be in every class. Finally, our last two apps are Canon Camera Connect. This is what it looks like. It's pretty plain because my camera's not connected because I am currently filming on the Canon EOS M50. This app has been super handy to have because it's like my own personal remote. I can take pictures directly from my phone, stand away from the camera, and click the button. And and it'll take the picture from me and it'll always be in focus so it is very very useful especially when I'm taking thumbnail pictures and nobody else is there for me I take all my thumbnail pictures by the way last but not least we have Amazon Alexa and Amazon Alexa is just there for fun it never really gets used ever besides maybe an occasional reminder but that doesn't happen very often because I do have an echo dot I guess we should probably address the last little row which is common to, I'm pretty sure, all Apple phones, messages, Safari, phone, and music. I don't have very many songs, and I don't have a Spotify either, even though I would really love to have one. It's just a bit too expensive for a young college student to handle right now. And there you have it. What is on my iPhone 11 2020 edition with Clarified Creations? Like I said earlier, smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, join the Clarified Creations family, and I'll see you in a few days. Bye! Hit the...
So don't forget to subscribe that smash! Wait a second. Extra, extra ravioli! Ravioli! My mom is packaging a box, so that is why there are tape sounds in the background.